So far we have seen some basic concepts and terminology from refraction of light and we have also seen an analogy that helped us gain some insight into it. Let us now use the wave theory of light as proposed by Huygens and explain this phenomenon of refraction. For that we will start with this boundary between two media. On the top we have an optically rarer medium, so light will travel faster here while this optically denser where it will travel slower. Now suppose there is a beam of light coming in this direction and its energy has reached these points A, B and C at this moment. Such a collection of points which receive light energy together are called as a wavefront. So here is a wavefront. We have just shown three points but there are going to be infinitely many such points on this line segment, the wavefront. Now according to Huygens, every particle on a wavefront becomes a emitter itself. So these particles A, B, C will start emitting light waves themselves. But there is a difference. Huygens said that these waves will not spread in all directions but only in the forward direction. So instead of getting circles like ripples, we will only be getting parts of them, so just arcs. And Huygens called them as secondary wavelets. So these are secondary emitters and these are the secondary wavelets. Now the medium that we have here is assumed to be isotropic. That means its optical properties will be same in all directions. And therefore these wave wavelets will be arcs of circles. Moreover, all over this medium we will assume the optical properties to be same. So the medium is homogeneous. Properties are same everywhere. And therefore all the wavelets will have the same radius as well. And therefore if we draw a common tangent to them, which will really give us the new wavefront, it will be parallel to the old one. And so our wavefront has moved parallel to itself. If you draw these perpendiculars, it will re they will represent the rays that are behind these wavefronts. Now interestingly, when A1, B1 and C1 become the secondary emitters, the secondary wavelets from A1 will spread in medium 2 while those from B1 and C1 will spread in medium 1. Now remember the speed of light is not the same in the two media. It is less here and therefore the wavelets will not have the same radius. Here the radius will be less while these two will have a greater radius. And now if we draw a common tangent or try to draw a common tangent to represent the new wavefront, we will not get a single straight line but rather we would get two straight lines, a wavefront here and a wavefront here. So now you have seen that our wavefront is not flat anymore, it has bent, it has curved. And this trend will continue. Now particles on this sort of compound wavefront will become emitters and they will generate more wavefronts like this. And uh, these wavefronts are then followed by the rays of course. And now you can see the ray here has bent, the ray here has bent and the ray here has bent and so refraction is taking place at this boundary. This is how Huygens explained the phenomenon of refraction. Now just to recap what we just saw but only in terms of rays, here are two ray diagrams. This is our medium boundary, this is the ray incident on that boundary and we have drawn a perpendicular to this boundary. These are called as the normals. So when we are going from rarer to denser medium, the incident ray gets refracted, deflected towards the normal. And when going from denser to rarer, the refracted ray goes away from the normal. 